Hello guys, welcome back to Moto ADV channel. We hope you guys are doing well. Today we gonna show 2024 BMW R1300 GS Adventure first look review and explain the details of the bike. We hope you guys enjoy it. Please don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching. The 2024 BMW R1300 GS is powered by a 1300cc air and liquid cool boxer engine with bore and stroke of 106.5mm by 73mm. It makes a claimed 145 horsepower at 7750 rpm, alongside 105 pound feet of torque at 6500 rpm. It uses BMW shift cam variable valve timing technology. With intake valves that are 44 mm in diameter and exhaust valves that are 35.6 mm in diameter. BMW also concentrated on increasing torque throughout the rev range, specifically focusing on the band between 3,600 and 7,800 rpm. There, it says that over 96 pound-feet of torque is consistently available, resulting in a strong pull throughout that should work well in most riding situations. At the same time, BMW says, it managed to keep fuel consumption comparable to the R1250 GS, it's just using its power more efficiently. Top speed is a claimed 124 miles per hour, and 0 to 62 miles per hour time is listed as 3.39 seconds. With the new engine comes a 6-speed gearbox that is now located beneath the engine, rather than behind the engine. Hello guys, welcome back to Moto ADV channel. We hope you guys are doing well. Today we gonna show 2024 Honda XL750 Transalp first look review and explain the details of the bike. We hope you guys enjoy it. Please don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching. The 2024 Honda Transalp is coming to America. The California Air Resources Board has issued an executive order for the Honda XL750 Transalp, certifying the mid-sized adventure tour for the 2024 model year. It's been a big day. Along with this morning's confirmation of the BMW R1300 GS, we now see paperwork that confirms the new Honda Transalp is headed to the US market. Motorcycle.com found documents filed with the California Air Resources Board that show the machine will come to America as a 2024 model. That's about all you can learn from the documents, unless you're fascinated by the minute details of emissions testing. But it is the first real confirmation we've had that Honda is bringing the Transalp to North America. We certainly would have expected it, but sometimes these things take longer than you'd think. Now that we see the paperwork, we would expect the bikes to be here later this riding season or early in the 2024 season. What is the Honda Transalp all about? Like the original Transalp model, the new machine appears to be more of a street-oriented adventure bike than the Africa Twin. It is based around the same liquid-cooled 750 Twin that Honda used for the new Hornet. It first officially appeared at the ICMA show in 2022. The new XL750 Transalp is based on a 755cc liquid-cooled parallel twin, with 8-valve head and 270-degree crank. Claimed output is about 90 horsepower at 9,500 rpm and 55 lbft of torque at 7,250 rpm. An assist slipper clutch is standard. A quick shifter is available as an option for the 6-speed gearbox.
Hello guys, welcome back to Moto ADV channel. We hope you guys are doing well. Today we're gonna show 2024 Honda NX500 first look review and explain the details of the bike. We hope you guys enjoy it. Please don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching. For 2024 but the NX500 is the most noticeable with its new name. Yes, the artist formerly known as the CB500X is now the NX500. A Honda NX standing for new X-Over is nothing new though on these shores it's not been seen since the 650 Dominator of the 90s. The air-cooled single-cylinder urban trails bike. The 2024A2 license-friendly manifestation of this mini-adventure fits in alongside the CBR500R and CB500 Hornet which all continue to use the same 471 cubic centimeters parallel twin in the light middleweight. Category Updates to the 2024 Honda NX500 include an ECU update to improve acceleration. New wheels to help weight saving, revised suspension settings, better headlight and a new screen and switchgear with enhanced tech. This CB500X replacement is due in UK dealership in early 2024 and we'll be seeing it available in three color options. Grand Prix Red, Matte Gun Power Black Metallic and Pearl Horizon White, which replaces the lovely Pearl Organic Green. The price is just £100 more than the outgoing model, which appears to offer significant value considering the additional features. Though Honda, like others, are guilty of introductory prices which will be increased once the model is initially established. A typical PCP deal is likely to see a 17% deposit paired with a £99 month offer over three years offer. Hello guys, welcome back to Moto ADV channel. We hope you guys are doing well. Today we gonna show 2024 Suzuki V-Strom 800D first look review and explain the details of the bike. We hope you guys enjoy it. Please don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching. Suzuki has launched the V-Strom 800D Rally Edition in France. Compared to the standard model, the Rally Edition comes with new components. That said, the Rally Edition is currently only offered in the international markets. The V-Strom 800D is positioned above the V-Strom 650 XT. It was just back in November 2022 that the V-Strom 800D was unveiled globally. What's new in the Suzuki V-Strom 800D Rally Edition? While the design of the bike is the same as the regular model, there are a few differences. One of these is the new guard around the front fairing and a one more guard for the engine casing. From the photos, it also appears to get a different belly pan as well. All these changes are made to ensure a better off-road ability of the motorcycle. In terms of hardware, the V-Strom 800D Rally Edition comes with a fully adjustable upside-down front forks front and a rear monoshock. The rear monoshock is adjustable for both preload and rebound. Braking duties are handled by 310mm dual discs at front and a single 260mm disc at the back. The brakes come with dual-channel ABS as well. The bike rides of 21-inch front and 17-inch rear spoke rims shod in Bridgestone AX41 off-road ready tires. Powertrain of the Suzuki V-Strom 800D Rally Edition The bike comes with the same 776 cubic centimeters parallel twin motor. This unit develops 84 bhp and 78 newton meters of peak torque. The rider can choose from three ride modes and comes with Suzuki Intelligent Ride System.
Hello guys, welcome back to Moto ADV channel. We hope you guys are doing well. Today we gonna show 2024 Moto Guzzi V100 Stelvio first look review and explain the details of the bike. We hope you guys enjoy it. Please don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching. The rumors of a new Moto Guzzi Stelvio slate back to IC May 2022. The Piaggio-owned Italian brand showed spoke wheels, the bike's name, and a picture of the Stelvio Mountain Pass to subtly tease the motorcycle. Since then, this has become a hot topic for enthusiasts, courtesy of repeated sightings of the Stelvio undergoing tests. Now, it seems the testing phase is finally over and the motorcycle is ready to break the internet. Why? Well, because images of the production spec V100 Stelvio have been leaked on the internet, that too, straight from Moto. At the opposite end, you now get a massive luggage plate in place of the Mandelo's sleek grab rails. This is partnered by a short, new exhaust with a dual-tone finish. Meanwhile, the overall ruggedness has increased, thanks to a tall, transparent windscreen, spoke wheels. The rumors of a new Moto Guzzi Stelvio slate back to IC May 2022. The Piaggio-owned Italian brand showed spoke wheels, the bike's name, and a picture of the Stelvio Mountain Pass to subtly tease the motorcycle. Since then, this has become a hot topic for enthusiasts courtesy of repeated sightings of the Stelvio undergoing tests. Now, it seems the testing phase is finally over and the motorcycle is ready to break the internet. Why? Well, because images of the production spec V100 Stelvio have been leaked on the internet, that too, straight from Moto. At the opposite end, you now get a massive luggage plate in place of the Mandelo's sleek At the opposite Guzzi dealerships. As its name suggests, the Stelvio draws a lot of inspiration from the existing V100 Mandelo. So the new adventure bike flaunts the same Guzzi special design language, complete with a distinct LED headlight and tail lamp. However, there's no shortage of bespoke elements here. The Stelvio boasts a new edgy fender up top, flanked by muscular side panels that merge into the radiator shrouds. The tank looks different too, and interestingly, we can't spot Moto Guzzi's unique adaptive aerodynamic flaps here. 